I'm Samantha Avila and this is your Eagle Eye News Update. War Eagle Auburn, Saturday's Iron Bowl was one to remember as Auburn beat Alabama in the second highest scoring game in series history. The first half saw a combined 58 points from both teams with a last second field goal scored by Anders Carlson to cut Alabama's lead 31 to 21 at halftime. The second half saw Alabama take the lead again, but only for a short period as Auburn marched down the field to score and give Auburn the lead. With only two minutes left on the clock, Alabama's missed field goal proved to be the difference as the Auburn Tigers upset the fifth-ranked Alabama Crimson Tide 48-45. Auburn fans stormed the field in celebration after Auburn beat Alabama in this weekend's game with a hefty price. The Southeastern Conference announced this morning that Auburn University will be fined $250,000 for storming the field. This is Auburn's fourth violation since the policy that prohibits post-game fan access to the competition area was instated in 2004. The fine will be deposited in the SEC Postgraduate Scholarship Fund. Last night, Auburn University's Student Government Association held the annual holiday cer lighting ceremony of the Sanford Lawn Christmas Tree and Menorah. The event began at 4 p.m. and welcomed not only Auburn students, but also friends and families of the Auburn community. The event had stations for attendees to mingle and enjoy the holiday festivities and provided many families the opportunity to kick off their holiday season at Auburn University. That's all we have for you today. Be sure to check out all the latest headlines on our website, eagleeyeauburn.com. I'm Samantha Avila, and this is your Eagle Eye News Update.